I'm Annick Scrammy from uh, Antwerp Management School and uh, I'm also a professor at the University of Antwerp. And my expertise is in the management and policy of creative and cultural industries and uh, also more particular in uh, fashion management. There is a growing interest in local labels, in local markets, and also from the consumer perspective. And I think it's really the other side of globalization. What is important for this independent designer uh, that wants to focus more on the local market is that, yeah, first of all, uh, that he has a strong label. Hmm? But on the other hand, nobody is waiting for a new label. So that may be sound hard and, and, and not motivating, but it's uh, really important to realize that. There is no sector where the, the gap between the image, the perception and the economic reality is so big. So it's really important, if you are creative, that you're also aware about the high competitivity on the market. So you need to be entrepreneurial, you need to be aware about uh, finance, eh? how to, um, to overcome this cash flow problem. Eh? Um, who do you want to reach? Eh? Who is your audience? Who is your public? Who wants to buy your clothes? You need to think about that in advance. Otherwise, it will, yeah, you will never succeed and you will get disappointed. And that's a pity, of course. I think compared to other programs who are in the big fashion cities, they are all focusing on the luxury market, while Antwerp is really known for his creativity, his avant-garde, and these high-end independent designers. I think our program is really unique because it's international and real international. Yeah? So you start in Antwerp and you get, um, first of all, inside in the fashion industry. What are the different segments, what are the different dynamics and of course also what is typical for the Antwerp fashion ecosystem. Besides that you get some introductory courses in finance, strategy, HR, marketing and communication but typically for the fashion industry. Then you have to choose your topic that you want to investigate and then you go to a non-European country, in this case in to Brazil. And there you get a course in the fashion industry there, yeah, because it's an emerging market. And you will get contact with the industry and gather information about your topic. From March on you're coming back to Antwerp and then you have to apply this knowledge into your practical project and to elaborate it in collaboration with another institution in a European fashion city like Milan, Paris or London. The participants will have diverse backgrounds, uh, I'm sure about that, but I think you can distinguish two groups. One with a creativity background, who wants to develop their entrepreneurial and management skills, and the other part who has already a management experience, but really wants to work in the fashion industry. Yeah, because it's really an industry with very specific dynamics. We want to achieve the best quality. Yeah, so we are also looking for the uh, best quality people and yeah, teachers. But uh, it's always a combination of academics, that's one part, with knowledge of the industry as well, of course, and at the other hand, professionals. And over the years, we developed really good contacts uh, with the high-end designers in Antwerp, and they are prepared also to, to come to talk about how they um, manage their business. And so, the best quality and the best teachers. <laughs>